We've had our just rewards this year, what with the you know, victories in the Tour Series, uh, our success at the Tour of Britain, winning the National Criterium, uh, Criterium Championships. So it's been a, you know, 46 victories in total. So pretty difficult to top that in the future, to be quite honest. What race programme are you due to follow for 2012? Our race programme for 2012 will be pretty much the same as it was this year. We're staunch believers in the, hit, the scene here in the UK. However, if we want to re move riders on and if we're genuine in the belief that we've got to be able to move riders on, then we, they have to race on the continents as well. And it's all about trying to give them an atmosphere or, or a, a platform that they can do that comfortably. We're very, very you know, staunch supporters of a, you know, of a clean sport. And as a, as a consequence, they need an environment where they feel that, that, is, that there is no other option, to be quite honest. So we want to be able to take riders abroad give them opportunities to race at that level so that they can show themselves in a fairly protected environment, um, look after them you know, very, very well from, a, you know, from a, a recovery situations and all that, all that side of it really. So they're not just left to their own devices is what happens a lot of the time when they go to these clubs abroad. With the Olympics coming up next year, a um, big year for sort of British sport, um, is, it, is that something that um, as a team that you'll be able to feed off? For us, the Olympics are very, very important. Two years ago, we signed Ed Clancy and Andrew Tennant, knowing full well that in Olympic year, we'd hardly see them. But we still gave them two-year contracts because we were staunch believers in supporting that Olympic. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a dream. You know, Ed's already a, you know, a gold medal winner, but it's certainly, uh, you know, for Andrew, it's definitely a, you know, his major goal for uh, 2012. And we want to support them in doing that. And support comes in many forms. And it might well be that we just leave them to their own devices, to be quite honest, for 2012. And we're going to have quite a big team for 2012, 2012 probably 15 riders. The reason being, we anticipate not being able to see Andy and Ed for most of that year. We'll do everything in our power to you know, provide them with uh, any backup they require. But I suspect that the best thing that we can do for them is to leave them well alone for, for the majority of 2012 whilst they get on with their you know, track training and so on. So the, certainly the Olympics, there's going to be massive, you know, it's going to be massive. I was at, uh, spent a lot of time in Australia before the Sydney Olympics and just the, the whole country will get behind it. And it it'll start fairly soon, I think, if it's not already started. Um, and um, it's up to us then as a sport to capitalise on that, um, you know, any success that we gain in the Olympics. It's, it's, it's a mixture of wanting to, you know, bask in some of that you know, Olympic glory for sure. I, I would be lying to say that if that does not you know, appeal to our sponsors, uh, you know, that, that, that's for sure. But we also believe in it as well, to be quite honest. We, we really want them to succeed. And I genuinely uh, believe that uh, they, uh, they're going to be best served, if you like, by not having to serve two masters, to be quite honest. And I think we'll be there to complement whatever British Cycling is doing for them and be able to provide them with anything that they need to do at the level that we're at.